Hello everyone, D&D Breakfast Club here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add or remove floor plans, how to work with the material brush, what different kinds of materials you can put on the map, what kind of terrain brushes there are and the different biomes that you can select from. I'd like to see more materials available for the material brush and I'd like to see the way the terrain brush lays itself or applies itself to the map improved overall. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Once you lay down your floor plans, you might not like the way you did it. I'm going to show you how to delete floor plans. This was something that took me a lot of work to figure out. I'm not even sure that I figured it out before I went and looked up the key binds on the instruction manual. So I'm going to go back to the floor tool, make sure I have my wall selected, make sure I have my floor selected. I'm going to hold alt. I'm going to click and drag the parts of the map that I don't want. And you can quickly and easily remove parts of the map or remove your floor plans that you've already laid. Another thing that this is useful for is changing the color of your walls that are auto-generated when you lay the floor plans. I had a hard time changing the colors whenever I would, it wouldn't automatically change. This is the best method I've found so far. I'm going to go to my walls, I'm going to copy my color, and when I'm at the walls I'm going to use the floor tool, hold alt, and let's do that once more with a different color. Change my walls to red. So nothing changes when I do that, but if I go over here and hold Alt, it changes the colors as I remove a piece, and then I can just add a piece back in. So I'm gonna put my color back, paste it down, hold Alt, remove and add. And that's the best way I found to change your auto-generated wall colors for now. Put in a few more doors. This is a closed door. It goes into a back conference room. This is a closed door that goes into storage. I don't need any cave walls, but you can use cave brush here and it auto generates its own walls. Hold Alt and click on the cave brush tool and that's how you remove the cave walls and the cave floor. If you haven't noticed, there's something I told you to do that I've already forgotten. Let's go ahead and save. I'm going to take my grid off again. I can see it a little better now. And I'm going to start working with the terrain on the outside of this cathedral before we start working with objects. On the left hand panel, click this little plant icon. This is where you can both brush on different terrains and you can use presets. Below, you'll see two sliders, brush size. If you scroll up on the scroll wheel and down, you'll change the brush size. Right now, there isn't a way to quickly adjust the size of the intensity. So you can do this by clicking or you can just slide it up and down. I found that this is an interesting function. It still needs some work, but you can use it as is for now and make it work for you. Under those is the different biomes. You can click this box right here and choose any one of these preset biomes. Barren lands, desert, mountain, prairie, rainforest, settlement, swamp. It defaults to settlement. In here you have four presets for settlement. You have dirt, gravel, sand, and snow. These can each be changed individually. If I click this and change it to grass, it now makes the dirt grass instead. If I select cracked earth and on. The second tab here is gravel, sand, and snow. So you can have settlement and not just have these four. You can change these up as you want. You can also feel the entirety of your map with whatever you have selected. For this settlement, let's put some snow down, maybe it's winter time. 
if you'll notice the intensity of 3.2 lays it down pretty thick leaves a little green here and there as I'm moving this around the map I'll put my brush size up I'm gonna mostly fill it like that because what I want to do is I actually want to take the grass lower my brush size lower the intensity and it's some thaws here and there so let's just try to ever so lightly thaw out different parts of this snow right now the intensity of one or lower it's pretty difficult so I'm gonna go up a little thinking about it it might actually be good to have a little dirt in here somewhere so I'm going to change the sand to dirt the grass died out over the winter time might be patches of green patches of brown I'll do the same thing going back kind of cover it up a little with snow I'm actually pretty happy with how that looks it felt a little bit organic again this tool does need a little bit of help next few brushes here I'll go over I'm not going to use them right now you have your water brush so you can create different bodies of water you have your material brush you can put down different kinds of materials and I will use this I've not tried it too much but it's something that is interesting so you can put down cobblestone rock grass lava and more grass. I think there's two different types of grass. And did I say acid? Acid is the first panel. I'm going to actually put down some cobblestone. Let's maybe do, I'm going to put my grid back on, zoom in. I'm going to do a little cobblestone path around the church. This does not snap to grid. You have to be very precise with your controls. As you're moving the mouse up and down, it's easy to just move curved, make it look like you didn't want it to. This is the smallest brush right now. Almost did it perfect first try so now I want to erase some of this cobblestone you could control Z where you make a mistake but instead I'm gonna erase some of the cobblestone that I didn't want to do that you need to select the same brush that you put the material down with you're gonna hold alt and you're gonna drag over the parts you don't want so I'm holding alt as I'm dragging over and it's brushing off the cobblestone I'll release alt brush on hold alt brush off all right so we have a little cobblestone path that goes around the church they keep it clean free of snow I'm pretty happy with this map so far. 
It's taken me a little longer just because I'm here explaining things to you. I think I could have done this in about three to five minutes if I wasn't really thinking about different placements or where to put things. Hey everyone, if you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, go ahead and leave a like or a comment. Anything you can do to help support this channel is much appreciated. Thank you.